Oh my gosh, I am pumped for this show. You guys are going to feel the energy right through the mic. Are you guys ready to get into it? We're going to talk about the one most important thing if you're going to be successful in anything. What do you guys think it is? I'm going to pause for a second, let you marinate on that. Habits. Some people call those routines. I call them the rules that govern your life. You are the sum of your habits. So we're going to talk about habits. But before we talk about habits, we're going to talk about what I think matters more than anything. And that is you taking control of your morning. How many of you that are listening right now, wake up, reach for your phone first thing. First thing you do. You reach for that phone, you're checking your text, you're doing your emails, you're doing the DMs, who commented, what's going on on the internet. I, for a while, I was, I was one of those people. Now, I'm going to share with you what I do now, but for the people that are doing that, do you realize what you are doing? You are setting yourself up to absolutely fail, fail, all day, fail. You want to know why? Because you get put on everyone else's schedule as soon as you do that. As soon as you pick up your phone, you go to reaction mode. I got to get back to this person. And I got to get back to this email. I got to do this. Oh my gosh, I got to answer this DM. Oh my gosh, I got to go over here, right? You are in reaction mode. And what happens is, is you typically never get out of it. And so you're in reaction mode for the entire day. You're on somebody else's schedule. Imagine that. The other people in this world are running your life for you. No wonder why you're stressed out. No wonder why you're frustrated. No wonder why you can never seem like you get ahead. It's because you're always doing shit for other people instead of blocking all of that out, scheduling that time and saying, no, I'm going to take control. I'm going to get the most important things done for my success right out of the gate. And so I will share with you exactly what I do every single morning. I will share with you exactly what I have teached and coached my kids to do every single morning. My son is six and his routine is better than most people's. I will say this and I will share with you and you're gonna be like, damn, he's six and he's reading a book and he's working out and he's brushing his teeth and he's making his bed all before seven o'clock. What? Where is this kid? This is also the one thing that I coach everyone on. My mom, my fiance, the coaching clients that I have. You want to know what the one thing that has allowed them to double down to be more successful than anything? It's this. It's what I'm about to share with you. Now, it looks different for everybody, but here's what happens. Here's how I take control of my morning. I get up. And I don't get up with an alarm. I go to bed somewhere between 9 and 10. I get up at 5. I get up at 5. I don't set an alarm. I wake up at 5. That's just my body. Now, some people need an alarm. Set it. Do whatever you got to do. But you got to be getting up early, right? You need, you need a solid hour before you have got to even get ready for work, in my opinion. And I'm going to share with you some of the things that I do. So I wake up. First thing I do is I sit up. And I thank God and the universe for another day. I give thanks. First thing. Then I say, or I ask the question, God, dear God, dear universe, how can I contribute today? How can I serve? How can I contribute? So first I give thanks. Then I ask the question. I put it out to the universe. How can I contribute? Because I know that it's through contribution where I am fulfilled. I'm aligned. I'm on purpose. And I'm feeling the absolute best I can feel when I am contributing to the health, wealth, success of other human beings. That's the first thing. Then I get up, I go downstairs, I start my coffee. My coffee takes 15 minutes because I don't do Folgers and I don't do crappy coffee. I do organic, fair trade coffee. It's from detoxorganics.com. Go there, subtle plug, but that's the coffee I drink, right? I have access to whatever coffee I want. I choose my coffee. And I use a Chemex and a, a gooseneck, uh, a water pourer, right? I put a little MCT oil in it. 
I grab some dark chocolate, 85% cacao. While that is doing its thing, I am thinking about all of the things that I want, the freedoms that I want. And in my mind, I am going over all the things that I want. Forget the things that I don't want. Now, mind you, I have not checked my phone. My phone is downstairs. I don't sleep next to my phone. My phone is not allowed in my bedroom. My phone is downstairs in the home office. It's still there. So I'm playing over and over in my mind all the things that I, la- that I want, the life that I want, the things that I want to achieve, the people that I'm hanging out with, the environments I'm in, the things, the freedoms, all of it. I'm replaying all of that in my mind, right? Really setting myself up for success. I go and I grab three books from the office while the coffee is doing its thing. I grab my Bible. I grab a book that, I don't know the name of it. It's like a daily journal. It's a, it's a philosophical book with, with a very like spiritual, very short meditations, right? And then I grab, um, it's called the, gosh, St. Germain Conscious Flame. Uh, uh, set, I, I don't want to butcher it, but it's a really thin book. And I'm going through this series. And so in the morning, I typically like to read this kind of stuff. I read one passage in the Bible. I read one chapter in, in the uh, uh, St. Germain Seven Conscious Flame. And then I read one passage because they're actually like day by day. So today was May 19th, I think. I went to May 19th. I read it and that was it. And so I spend that time going through those few books. And that's why I'm having my coffee and my dark chocolate. Then after my coffee and my dark chocolate, I go and I stretch. I stretch for probably 10 minutes and I take my time. I'm focused on breath. I'm really present. Then from there, I go into about a 10 minute or so three exercise ab routine. Bird dogs, um, uh, some leg to, gosh, I'm, I, I'm so out of it, uh, leg raises. And then there is some dolphins. You remember the dolphin pose, right? Really lock up those abs. I do those three things. Then after that, I stand in front of my juve and I do red light therapy for 15 minutes. And while I'm doing that, I'm stretching out my shoulders. I'm doing some stuff for mobility, upper body mobility for that 15 minutes. Then I go outside. And what I find when I go outside is a rogue exercise bike. Oh my gosh, those things hurt. I find some uh, dumbbells. They're adjustable. I find kettlebells. I find um, uh, medicine balls. I find, um, not bungee cords, uh, resistance bands. And I put together a 10 to 15 minute call it Metcon, right? Metabolic conditioning. So for the 10 to 15 minutes that I train, I'm working my muscles. Simultaneously though, I'm working my lungs, right? So I am breathing heavy for 10 to 15 minutes. Now I come inside. I go upstairs. I get ready. I shower. I do the damn thing. And then I come downstairs and I make a meal replacement shake. It is our daily protein, again, detoxorganics.com. If you're not on my supplements and you're on other supplements, you're taking inferior supplements. Mine are better. I know it because I formulate them. So I have daily protein mixed with daily superfoods and 10 ounces of almond milk, and that's what I use to break my fast. Now, I say break my fast, but it's not really breaking my fast because I nibble on some dark chocolate hour or so earlier. But I like to think that I break my fast. And so I break my fast with that beautiful shake. It primes my body, gives me amazing nutrient density. I've got daily protein in my body, which is four different proteins, the superfoods. I'm I'm regular as as, as heck. Um, I've got no bloat. I'm, I'm lean. I'm feeling good. I've got energy. And now I'm ready to attack my day. Prior to working from just home, I would go into the office and I would have this shake on the office, into the office. So at this point, right, think about all the stuff that I've got done. You guys, it's not even, it's seven (laughs) o'clock. It's seven, right? I've got all of this done and it's seven, all right? So now what do I do? I don't grab my phone yet. I don't grab my phone yet because I know that between seven and eight is the sweet spot for sending out our daily emails. I write all of our daily emails, both for my subscribers and for the Detox Organics community. 
And so now I will sit down for the next hour and I will write and I will get all of the emails and SMSs out for the brands. Now eight o'clock hits. Now, mind you, I've, I've got calls later in the day, right? I've got meetings. I've got strategy sessions, paid media, um, um, design meetings, different campaigns, sales stuff that we're doing for Detox Organics. Once I get all of the writing done and I know what meetings I have, I've prepared for those meetings, now I'll check my phone. That's when I check my phone. So I'm checking my phone, you guys, probably somewhere in the like nine o'clock. I've been up for four hours. I've gotten four hours worth of focused work and I do my best work during that time, right? You will do your best work during this time because you don't have the mental turbidity and the clutter from the reactions and the reaction mode from checking that cell phone and being inundated by those little fucking tickers, right? They're there for a reason. 72 messages unchecked, 42 text messages, right? You see those in, right? That is stimulation. That takes you off of purpose. And so I get all of my creative work, all of my writing, all of the stuff that I have said, all done before nine o'clock. I'm up for four hours. Now I check my phone. And then I go into meetings. And then I finish up and I'm back with the kids. I don't want to go into the rest of my day. I want to talk specific about the morning routine because the morning routine is the most important. So you think about my morning routine. You think about my, my, my spiritual habits in my morning routine. You think about my health habits in my morning routine. You think about, uh, about setting myself up for success. You, you have to set yourself up for success if that's what you choose, right? You tell me, your habits around health, and I'll tell you what you look like and how healthy or unhealthy you are. You tell me your habits around wealth and finances, and I'll tell you how secure and how much money you have. Tell me your, your, your habits around relationships and spirit, and I'll tell you how connected and grounded you are. Like, this is easy, right? And I'm not saying setting it up is easy, right? You've probably got 10, 20, 30 years of bullshit to unravel and undo. Your habits are are locked in. And the reason why you have what you have today is because of your habits. So if you're really successful, chances are you've got some really successful habits. If you're not, chances are you're waking up, you're checking your phone, you're in reaction mode for the rest of the fucking day. And then you get to the end of it, you feel like you haven't gotten anything done. You haven't checked the boxes on your life. You're unsuccessful. And then you what right then you sit down to watch netflix that's a recipe for for chaos and disaster so you have to own your mornings and here's what i suggest right for those of you that like michael i need this right i don't want to be in reaction mode i don't want to be stressed out i don't want to be on other people's schedules and agendas i want to own my life i want to take control i want to be successful Start slow. And I'm going to give you the recipe for success. My son, he's six years old. My son gets up. He's upstairs and you hear, right? Because he's going from the bathroom. He's brushing his teeth. He's going back to his room. He's cleaning and cleaning his room and making his bed. And he's going back and he's showering. He's getting ready for the day. He is getting ready for the day. He takes care of everything. His room is spotless. And now he comes downstairs with his book. It started with really simple picture books. For the last two years, he and my daughter have had to read a book before anything else. They get ready. They read a book. They have breakfast before anything else. That has been one of the habits that I have instilled. Now, I could have given a ton of habits, right? I could have given them the book and the, and the teeth and the, and the brushing the teeth and the cleaning your room, right? And the working out. You guys, he's six years old. He joins me every other day for a workout, for a workout. He's lifting the medicine ball. He's doing exactly what I'm doing. Now, as a parent, if you're a parent, you have to lead by example, right? You want this for your son, for your daughter, for your family. Just do it every day. They're watching you. You're, you're their biggest role model. So just do every single day what you want your kids to do, and then you'll have kids that do what you want them to do. 
You have to be the example. Now back to the routine, right? So I, one thing at a time, gave Mello over the last couple of years. He comes down, he grabs his book, has a little bit of breakfast. He reads his book. By that time, I am done stretching. I have finished my red light therapy and we go work out. We go outside and he works out with me for 10 to 15 minutes. Now, here's the secret. The secret is, is there's probably a lot of things that you want to put in your morning schedule. Now, this also depends on what you want for your life, right? What do you want? Your habits need to coincide with what you want. How much time are you spending towards the things that you want? And so your habits are going to be different than my habits. Now, I think we should all have some of the habits that I have. I think we should all connect to our spirit every single morning. I think we should all stretch a little bit. I think we should all work out. I think we should all have a detox organics meal replacement shake. I think we should all read. These are all things that I think we should all do. And I also think that we should all creatively, creatively write. doesn't mean you got to write for detox organics or for the same things that I do, right? But being creative in writing is not a bad thing, right? So I think all of those things are things that we should all do. And I think if you take those things and you tailor them around what you want for your life, for your health, for your wealth, for your success, then you craft and create a schedule and a morning routine that helps you achieve the successes you said you wanted. This is the secret. This is the secret of all the most successful people in the world. Now, don't get this twisted, right? It's easy to say, oh my gosh, he's a billionaire. He's a, success, he's a successful guy, successful girl, right? Easy to say that, but that's not how I define success. Now, I know that that guy has really, really good habits in the morning, right? Otherwise, he wouldn't have been able to create that wealth. But I also know that the guy who's really successful in his health or his relationships or whatever the thing is, has the same habits in their morning as the billionaire who has wealth habits, the, the health nut or the health guru or the meditation expert has health habits in the morning that has created that success for them in their space. Right, So success, in my opinion, there's only one measuring stick. It used to be, for me, how much money is in your bank account. That's what it used to be. That's what it used to be. Like, it was non-negotiable. Like, we weren't talking about it. Like, that's it. Anybody that knew me, that's it. That's all that Michael cares about. But that's since changed because I woke up and I realized that money is great. The freedoms that it creates is what you're really after. And the security that it provides is what really makes you happy. And so it's not about what you have material wise. It's about how secure you are. Is your house paid off? Are you living below your means, right? Are you within budget? Are you saving? That is where the happiness from money comes from, in my opinion. Now, success. There's only one way I measure it. Are you happy? That's it. That's it. That's the only measuring stick that matters. You got tons of money? Awesome. Are you happy? No? Well, you're not successful then. You've got great health, a great body. You look amazing. Are you happy? No? Okay. Well, then find success. In my opinion, we have to start measuring success by how happy we are right here in this moment. Right? Because if you're not happy, nothing else matters. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Nothing else matters. <laughs> I'm happy. But it's important, right? Like, if you're not happy, does the amount of money you have in your bank account matter? Not to me. If you've got the most beautiful body, male, female, but you're not happy, does it matter? No. You've got the most amazing relationships. You're an amazing dad. You've got a beautiful family and amazing friends, but you're not happy. Does it matter? No, right? So for me, right, we're constantly following these entrepreneurs and these influencers, and we think that that's what happiness is until we get there and we realize that that's not really happiness, right? What's happiness is, is building great relationships, having great health, and, and, and living within your means and, and being secure, and then, right, when you have that, it's living on purpose, it's living intentionally, it's living on your own terms and not connected to your fucking phone all day, on everybody else's terms. 
Take control of your mornings. Take control of your life and allow your habits to compound over time and push you to all that you want in this world. It's all about your daily habits. The best piano player in the world has amazing habits around piano playing and how many times they play in a day and when they play and all of that, right? And so that's the thing that I teach my kids. They can do whatever they want to do. You want to play the violin in, a, in, a, in an orchestra, a symphony orchestra? You could do that. But you got to have the habits that are going to take you there, which means you've got to play the violin every fucking day. Morning, noon, and night, you got to set your world up, your life up, right? To push everything out and put that in and control that time. Time is the greatest asset and, and we're not even on our own time. We're on everybody else's time. So what do you want to do? Answer that question. Leave me a message. Send me a DM. If you're listening to this, leave me a review. Leave it in the review. Hey, I just listened to this episode and Mike was talking about like habits and what do I want? And this is what I want. And so if that is what you want and you draw a line in the sand, you say, this is what I want. This is how I'm going to live on purpose. This is how I'm going to be fulfilled. This is in total alignment. This is what I want for my life. Then you've got to reverse engineer it and say, am I doing the things every single day consistently are my habits, those of which are going to take me closer to my desires, closer to hopefully happiness. Because I'm telling you what, happiness right here, right now, is the only thing that matters. And it's really, really, really hard, I know, to be happy when you don't have the security that money provides, when you don't have the health that great exercise and nutrition and sleep and water provide, if you don't have beautiful relationships because you've decided to put everything else before them, right? You can't be happy, truly happy, without a combination of those things. So I believe that they got to be taken into consideration. But what does happy mean for you? And what will you die doing? What's the mission for your life? Mine is really simple. The products, programs, services that I create, the things that I'm involved in, me, myself. My goal and my mission is to help people live a better quality of life. And that's what I wake up doing on purpose, super intentional, and in control of my day. I love you guys. Thanks so, so much for listening. Please, I'm a little, I, I, some feedback. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know how you're feeling. Let me know if you're fired up and if you're taking this and you're running with it so that you can be happy and successful too. Cheers. Take care.